Who cares if your friend is not perfect? Who cares if your partner is not perfect? Who cares if you are not perfect? Who cares if your parent is not perfect? Hey, it's Anna. So, flaws. What the fuck are flaws? What are they? Who the hell decided that something was a flaw and something wasn't? You know, like, we're gonna talk about flaws because flaws are a societal program. Like, they're not real. They're not something that actually exists. They're something man-made, something that people just decided, you know? Same as, like, expectations and, ugh, I mean, the list is endless of what's a societal program in. But flaws are not real, you know? Because a flaw to you, like something that you would perceive to be a flaw, may not be a flaw to somebody else. Because you might like it and they don't, or they might like it and you don't. It's just like personal preference, really. Yes, actually, flaws are a personal preference. Like, we constantly pull out the flaws of other people and tell other people where they fall short, where they're not good enough and all of this stuff. But yet we have those same things within ourselves because none of us are perfect, you know? And that's what makes us perfect is the fact that we're not perfect. So yeah, I just think that flaws are literally such an external thing of people calling each other out for them you know that's what makes a flaw not the actual thing itself because you can have tons and tons of faults but it's the act of other people pointing at you for them like constantly telling you about them about where you fall short that's what builds the insecurity and not necessarily like like you may not have even been aware of this flaw in the first place but somebody else told it to you so now you feel a bit shit about it. Now you notice it way more than what you did before. So it's like, it's such an external, fear-based, insulting, ugh, just like negative, awful thing that's really unnecessary. And the reason that people even point out the flaws in others is because they're trying to take away from themselves. They're trying to take the attention away from their own flaws, you know? And it's the same with haters on the internet and like trolling and all that kind of stuff people literally pick other people to take away the attention and the acknowledgement of their own flaws you know we're all running from something it seems <laughs> especially people on the internet so yeah this video is just kind of to put the message out there and like start the conversation of the fact that your flaws are not real you know? Like, it's not even real. It's not something to be ashamed of. It's not something to, like, feel negative towards. Not even to feel negative towards somebody else's, because we all have them, and who gives a fuck? Like, who cares if your friend is not perfect? Who cares if your partner is not perfect? Who cares if you are not perfect? Who cares if your parent is not perfect? As long as they're not hurting anybody, as long as their imperfection is not attacking somebody else, then who cares? you know, we all have them, so what, <laughs> like, so what, nobody is perfect, so, yeah, I don't really know the purpose of this video, but I just feel like it's important to talk about, because a lot of us feel a bit shit about our flaws, you know, like, even getting on camera like this is terrifying, because I know that people will have something to say about anything, like, they can literally pluck up anything, you know, we can pick at anything about anybody, so, yeah, I don't know, it's a very judgmental society right now, and I'm not here for it, you know, I don't really want it, <laughs> but, yeah, so the purpose is literally to say that let go of the fear towards your flaws and also towards other people but I feel like you're not nobody's ever gonna let go of insulting somebody else until they actually face their own you know because it always comes back to the self it always comes back to what you run from and where you fall short and where you're like where you could improve and you know it always comes back to the self so if everybody took the time to discover their own flaws to discover themselves that their strengths too, like every part of yourself, then there would be no reason to judge or criticise anybody else, you know? I mean, there probably would be because people are always in their fucking ego. <laughs> so there probably would be people that still criticise, but we're not going to put that message out there, we're going to crop that bit out of the video. So society has literally decided for you what a flaw even is. 
because just because one person thinks that something is a flaw and something is bad does not mean it actually is like who decides what's good and bad who decides what's right and wrong you know it's just about where the collective agrees upon and where they don't and then it becomes like a norm so yeah i just think that we all need to start embracing every part of ourselves because that is why you came here you can't change things especially certain things like there's many aspects of yourself that you can't change it just is who it, who you are you know it just is what it is but at the same time your vessel is not who you are this vessel is not who i am this vessel is just something that i'm experiencing this human life through but it's not me because it's gonna age it's gonna like wait what other things the body's doing <laughs> my mind went so fucking blank then oh shit <laughs> but it's gonna age you know it's not gonna stay as it is right now forever and like even the idea of beauty and that kind of thing and makeup and everything like that they those norms all change they don't stay the same you know five years ago i was not doing my makeup like this this is just something that I've learned over time, you know, everything changes and I'm sure in another five years there'll be new techniques and new this and new that and new body shapes that are in right now and all of that kind of thing, you know. The vessel changes and the norms around what is beautiful and what is all of these shit fucking uh, things all change. So the idea that we need to like mould ourselves to fit into them is a bit ridiculous. And I know that I'm sitting here like wearing makeup and all of that kind of stuff. But I mean, my hair's natural, okay? We got rid of the extensions. But I know I'm sitting here wearing makeup and you could say that I'm like trying to blend in. But no, I feel like it's doing what feels right for you, you know? It's about doing what feels right for you. And I can even sit here and like admit that sometimes I do wear makeup out of insecurity. Most definitely. Like there are times when I didn't want to leave my house without putting on a full face of makeup. And that's a problem like that is a problem that's not a normal thing that's not a good thing but that is a societal programming and i'm well aware of that thing that i need to work on i don't even want to call it a flaw because that's not a flaw that's a mental belief that i hold that's based in fear that makes me feel like i need to wear makeup before i can leave my house you know and that's that's a problem in society and so that's why i want to come on here and like talk about all of these things all of these systems that we hold on to all of these fear based things that block us from our full potential because i am trying to walk the path of shedding all of that bullshit and i feel like doing it on camera and like sharing my experience will really help other people that are trying to do the same because oftentimes you don't even realize that something is an external belief like sometimes we don't realize that that idea has been planted in our mind and we weren't born with it you know it can feel like you've always had it and it's always been there and it just is but it's not it it isn't <laughs> so yeah i definitely want to open the conversation up especially to women because i know a lot of um girls like follow me on instagram and stuff and i really want to open the conversation about the standard of beauty not just beauty though like everything everything that's expected of women expected of men everything that just society as a whole okay we're starting the conversation because it's a crazy ass world out there and mental health is such a like big thing right now where so many people are suffering and they don't need to but the reason they're suffering is because they're not realizing their own internal power and worth and capability you know to get yourselves out of that mindset and that mindset has been put there by external things by society by the elites with their agendas that they push through the news and all of this shit like that's a conversation for another day but all of these external things have put the fear in you and so they've also given you the idea of what a flaw is and the fact that you even have flaws like you don't have any they don't exist <laughs> because it's only something that society has told you but you're actually perfect exactly as you are exactly who you are that's what you came here to be and that is who you will always be even when you elevate certain parts of yourself and certain like reactions that you have maybe you'll shift them so that you respond out of love even when you elevate that it's still all a part of you 
all of it is all exactly who you always were so yes we will end on that message I think that's quite a powerful message but thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video bye I need a man that will hold me down if he a yes man I ain't keeping him around I need a